All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, we still have a few days left of this version of the demo before it goes away in January. And so I've got another treat for you. Um, in our last video, we did something very similar to this where we have uh, an Arcana pack, except there aren't any cards drawn. And so I don't have any cards that I can select. I can't use this Moon or this World Tarot card. Last time, the reason for that was we had zero cards in our deck, and so with zero cards in our deck, we're not able to draw any cards. We don't have any cards to draw. This time, a little bit different. This time, we've got, you know, basically, we still got the full deck here, you know, 47 uh, out of 52 cards, but we're not able to draw any of them because we managed to reduce our hand size to zero. Uh, if we go check out the spectral cards here, uh, you know if I take Ouija, that's going to reduce my hand size by one. If I take Ectoplasm, that's going to reduce my hand size by one. And so if you have access to enough spectral packs, if you have enough of these spectral cards, Ouija and Ectoplasm specifically, you can get down to zero hand size. And then with zero hand size, um, I'm not able to draw any cards because my hand is already full, basically. Now, uh, you know, a little bit tangent here. Uh, Discord user Math is Fun. Um, they were one of the people who wrote the seed searching program. And then, you know, nowadays, anytime we want an interesting seed for an interesting run, Math is Fun is the one who actually does the seed searching. And so they have kind of a deep understanding of what's going on under the hood and actually explain to me why this is grayed out here, why we're not able to skip. All right, if I'm sort of understanding this correctly, you know, no guarantees, but you know, if I'm understanding this correctly, basically what's happened is the game is waiting until after we've drawn our cards and then it'll allow us to skip. But since we have zero hand size, we're not able to draw any cards. And so we're not able, it's waiting forever. It's waiting until we draw our cards, but we can't draw any cards. And so that's why we're not able to skip. However, we can take this Emperor card and luckily we can escape the Arcana pack. Now, the next question that I have is what happens if we go into the round here? So at the start of the round, we've got uh, no cards in our hand. We have zero cards out of a maximum of negative one. So actually, instead of zero hand size, I was able to get negative one hand size. And so if I'm not able to draw any cards, I'm not able to play any cards. And, you know, last time when we had zero cards in our deck, that ended up we just lost on the spot. Here, you don't lose but also you can't play. So it's kind of a soft lock, uh, you know, we're not able to go forward. And so the question that I wanna to tackle today is, can we win the game with zero hand size? Can we win the game with negative one hand size, maybe? The answer is yes, and maybe it's not as hard as you're thinking. So let's give it a try. All right, before we jump into it here, we're gonna start with the yellow deck. Um, in the past, you've seen me do a lot of abandoned deck, uh, mostly for, you know, whatever you're trying to do, uh, you want to, at the end of the day, you wanna be able to draw the cards that you're looking for, and it is easiest with the abandoned deck. Uh, here, we need a little bit extra money, and so we're gonna take the yellow deck um, to start. Um, at the end of the day, you know, when we get down to hand size two or hand size one, you're only able to play high card anyway. And so it doesn't really matter what cards you're playing. It doesn't really matter what's in your deck. All right, in the first round, uh, I will say this is another one of these, you know, very optimized, um, seeded runs and so as part of the routing what we figured out was uh, i want to move this king before i discard exactly these cards 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna move this jack and then discard exactly these cards. And so, you know, when I first created this YouTube channel, uh, one of the first videos that I put up was this tutorial, this seed optimization tutorial, specifically uh, what we call this shuffler manipulation. Um, since I've already sort of done that video in the past, I'm not going to go through all the details, all of what's possible. Uh, I'm just refer you to that old video, but you know, I'll give you the short version. Basically, the order that you play and discard your cards has some influence on the future, how your cards are going to be dealt and arranged in the future. And so what you can do is you can, you know, go ahead and look in the future and see how your cards are dealt and then figure out in the past, okay, if I change these things in the past, then it'll cause the changes that I want in the future and then give me the correct arrangement of cards in the future. And so uh, for here, it just ha so happens that I want this jack to be where the seven of spades would be in the future wherever there would be a seven spades i would actually prefer it to be uh, the jack of spades in that position instead all right uh another jack so instead of this seven of diamonds i'm going to put the jack where the seven of diamonds was going to be so this is in the future in the future wherever there would be a seven of diamonds i want my jack there instead and then finally uh, the reason why I'm holding on to these queens and threes is so that I can play this full house that's going to win the round. Um, before I play it, I'm going to move the queen over here. And so that's taking the place of what used to be the three of diamonds. Now the queen of spades is going to be there. It'll make sense when we get into the next round. All right, in the shop, right away we've got our first spectral pack. And so the reason why we picked this particular seed is because we need a seed that has enough spectral packs, enough uh, Ouija and ectoplasm in order to reduce our hand size. Um, and so, you know, here it is already in the first shop. We got our first spectral pack and this spectral pack gives us Ouija right away. Now, because we want to be purchasing basically a spectral pack from every shop, we're going to need a lot of money to make that happen. Um, and not just like late game money, but we need to have money at the beginning in order to buy all of these things. Um, and so that's part of the incentive why we're using the yellow deck for this run. Now, uh, this Ouija here. When I go ahead and do this, it's going to give me a bunch of threes. And so we did a little bit of work um, to make sure that there weren't any threes already. So we had four threes. We get eight new ones in total, uh, the maximum number of 12 threes. Now, go, uh, before we go into the next round, I'm also going to purchase these two. Um, when we get to the end and we only have are only able to play high card, then the banner giving us the extra chips is going to be very helpful in that late game. Um, also, in the early game, in order to get our money off the ground, uh, the business card uh, with the face cards is going to be how we generate our money. Um, and so that is another reason why we're using the yellow deck. All right, going into the next round here, uh, in order to do this business card stuff, we want to uh, find our face cards. So we'll go ahead and discard. Here, I'll do a little bit of rearrangement before discarding. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play, uh, this is two pair. This is uh, kings and queens. Giving us $2. And then let's discard looking for more face cards. And so here are those jacks. So you saw me do the rearrangement in round one, move a jack here, move a jack there. And that is so that here I have four jacks all at the same time, you know, instead of playing, uh, you know, two pair jacks and tens or playing uh, a full house, I'm able to play four jacks to get maximum business card value. Um, in the future, 
the way that I want my jacks to be rearranged, um, I want to put this nine here. That way the jacks end up in the correct spots. All right, in the shop, we're offered our second spectral pack right away. So we'll open it up and take a look. Uh, we said every spectral pack, all 10 of them have either Ouija or ectoplasm. So if I wanted to, I could take ectoplasm right here. I say that because that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, because there are 10 spectral packs, um, I don't actually need to take 10 of them. Um, I only need nine of them for what I'm trying to do, which means here, uh, I'm not gonna take ectoplasm. I'll take ectoplasm and Ouija in the future. For here, uh, I just want the money, so I'm gonna take Immolate. All right, now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead, we will buy Todd, and we will buy uh, Pluto here. So remember, you know, in the end game, we're only able to play high card if we have no, uh, or if we have, you know, only two or three cards as our hand size, we're only able to play high card. So we're going to go ahead and start leveling up uh, our Pluto now. Sorry, leveling up our high card. Uh, before we go into the next round, uh, we'll do a re-roll and then pick up this misprint. So, you know, we go a little bit under on interest. But, you know, all together, picking up the Pluto card and then also this misprint is what we want to do. And we'll get some of our money back from the uh, business card. All right, so going in here, we've got, uh, I want to try to find my face cards. So we'll go ahead and discard here, discard again. And then in here, I'm gonna discard. Uh, before we do, let's move this 10 over. And then there we go. What we end up getting is a full house, uh, queens and threes. And this is going to be enough. This is going to win the round. Um, if I don't have the misprint uh, with just Todd here, uh, this is worth you know, about 100 chips times four, about 400 points. With the help of the misprint, I'm able to win in one. And so uh, if we didn't re-roll, if we didn't buy the misprint, I could play this hand and then there would be another hand. And, you know, it, theoretically, I could use that extra hand to play more face cards and get more business card value. You know, I spend a hand that costs me a dollar, but if I play three face cards, that gives me you know, potentially four to six dollars or something like that. Uh, it turns out the face cards are sort of buried deeper into the deck. And so it doesn't make sense for us to dig for them just by burning hands. It's fine that we win uh, with just one hand. Uh, before we do though, I am going to take uh, this queen and then move it over here. Uh, with the help of the misprint, we also don't need Todd. So, you know, you could either use Todd or the misprint. You don't need both. Uh, the reason why we pick up the Todd is because there is a duplicate um, in the shop. And so by holding on to this Todd, the future Todd will be skipped and then we'll just get the next Joker, whatever it is. Um, also here with the misprint. As long as we're holding on to this, there's a couple extra copies of misprint that show up, they will get skipped. Um, you know, I said I did this tutorial on the shuffler manipulation. The follow-up video to that was I did this tutorial on the shop manipulation, all of the different things that are possible there. You know, getting uh, whatever jokers that you want earlier in the run, how to make that possible and then also how to manipulate the different additions on the jokers in the shop. Um, you can actually move the additions to different jokers if you want. All right, uh, before we move on here, we're going to buy the clearance sale voucher. Um, you don't see this a lot from me. Uh, I don't typically take it uh, because 
you know, if I'm doing eight ball stuff, for example, then it reduces the sell cost of my tarot cards and I get less money from my eight ball. Um, but here we'll go ahead and pick it up because it's going to reduce the cost of all of my future um, spectral packs. Um, or here it'll reduce the cost of my jumbo uh, arcana pack. All right, here I'm presented with uh, a couple kings. Um, I want the kings to be moved over here. So I'll just take all this stuff over to the left. My kings end up over here. And then in the future, they'll be where I want them to be. Uh, from here, uh, the Empress and the Hangman, these don't really matter. You know, if I make some Molt cards, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about drawing my cards. Um, Hangman, I'm not really worried about removing cards. You know, it's not really going to make that big impact. But if we take this Judgment here, something kind of interesting happens. If I take Judgment, I end up with a blueprint. Uh, not just any blueprint, this is a polychrome blueprint. Normally it costs us $20, but here I was able to get it uh, for just $4 Arcana pack. And so, you know, that is part of the reason why we do this reroll to pick up the misprint uh, is because then when I'm here, the next pack is blueprint. If we didn't reroll, then that uh, judgment would give me a zany joker instead. And then finally, we will take the celestial pack uh, for another Pluto card here. Trying to level up our high card for the future. Now that I have this blueprint, I can, you know, copy my business card. If you didn't already know, you can copy business card and then we'll get a lot more money. All right, going into the next ante here, uh, we're going to take a skip for a spectral pack. So some of the spectral packs show up in the shop. Some of them show up as skips. Um, and then we'll skip here Ouija again. Gives us aces. And so, you know, there we, you know, did some manipulation so that we didn't have any aces and we didn't have any face cards. Because I don't want to lose my face cards so that I can keep doing my business card stuff. And now we've got 10 ace aces. All right, in the next round, uh, now that we've done all this work to create all of these aces with this Ouija effect, uh, I want to keep playing face cards. So actually, I'm going to discard my aces. Um, I'm going to discard again. Uh, I don't need this jack because there's no more jacks, so I can't do, you know, full house with jacks. Uh, but what I can do is I can play a pair of queens. Um, and actually, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, there we go. Uh, aces, or sorry, a uh, pair of queens like this. We've got some kings, and if I discard, I'll be able to find even more kings, just like that. All right, uh, in the next shop here, let's take a look at the Spectral Pack. Um, in the Spectral Pack, we're offered uh, again Ectoplasm, and so we're gonna take it. Uh, before we do, let's move my Jack into the appropriate place, and then now we'll take the Ectoplasm. Now, with uh, the newly printed uh, negative here, we're able to buy this Juggler. And so, you know, this is what we're going to do. Uh, you know, as we're going through and we're reducing our hand size, it becomes harder and harder for us to play our hands and draw our cards. Uh, this juggler, of course, is going to help mitigate that. It's going to uh, negate some of the drawback of having this small hand size. Then, you know, very, very late when we get to the end, we're going to reduce our hand size to one. And then after we have hand size one, if I sell my joker, or if I sell my juggler, that's gonna take us from hand size one to hand size negative one. And so that's how at the beginning of the video you saw I had hand size negative one. And so this juggler is gonna be very important for that. 
All right, next what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to re-roll. And then I'm going to open this Celestial pack. Picking up here a Pluto card. If we open the Celestial pack first, um, it would be the Mars card, Uranus, Saturn, Earth. And we would have to pick up the Pluto card from the shop. But because we re-rolled first, then it moves the Pluto card into the Celestial pack instead of the Pluto card showing up in the shop. And so that way I don't have to spend the extra $3 buying it from the shop. I can just get it from the booster pack. And then the last thing that we're going to do here, uh, this misprint, actually I'm going to move it over here. Um, I don't want the extra 50% from our polychrome. Uh, if I want to get more business card value, I want to make sure that I'm not scoring too many points. So that maybe I can play an extra hand or two each round. All right, on the boss here, what we're going to do again, we're going to throw away our aces looking for our face cards. Uh, so here already I've got kings and queens. If I wanted to, I could play a full house. Um, instead of a full house, actually I'm going to play a uh, two pair. And then that way I, I can save some kings for later. All right, next let's uh, discard here. Looking for more face cards. I don't need the queen. I already have my jacks and kings developing, so we'll go ahead and discard the queen. And then here we go. We've got kings and queen, or kings and jacks. We played the two pair, kings and queens, and then that gives us two kings left over that we can still make um, a full house here. Uh, before we do, let's move the jack over here so you know in the future you know i'm trying to decide between you know two pair face cards here uh full house face cards there or maybe you know four of a kind face cards here i want uh what this is doing is instead of there being a king i'm just swapping a king with a jack is basically what's happening All right, now, you know, since we've been playing, you know, all of our face cards every time, uh, we haven't really gotten a lot of value out of our Todd, so we could go ahead and sell it. We don't need it. Um, we were just holding on to it uh, so that we can skip the duplicates in the shop. And we can replace it with here, the to-do list. It says, okay, give me a pair. We could probably pull that off. Um, and then I can even, you know, do the blueprint on the to-do list for some extra money that way. All right, I am going to buy this Celestial pack. Before I do, I'm going to re-roll, buying both Venus and Neptune, re-roll again, and now we're gonna buy this uh, Celestial pack. Um, if you look at the list of planet cards on this seed, there's something like um, one Pluto card every 11 cards-ish on average which is, you know, slightly less than average density of Pluto cards, um, you know, but basically it's one in every 11 cards, you get a Pluto card. Uh, here, when I open the Celestial Pack, um, it's going to skip any extra copies of Venus. It's gonna skip any extra copies of Neptune. I happen to know that, you know, in sort of like a stretch of 10, there's maybe uh, two more Venus cards and then three more Neptune cards or something like that. And so this is giving us uh, a lot of skips. We had a Pluto in the last Celestial pack. I'm able to skip ahead and find another Pluto. And actually, uh, despite the Plutos being, you know, sort of naturally 11 cards apart, I can get a Pluto card in every Celestial pack. And I'm gonna keep holding on to these in the future to again, skip future copies of Venus and Neptune. 
All right, uh, I'm going to pick up the Arcana pack also. Before I pick up the Arcana pack, I'm going to re-roll. There's a star here. Three tarot cards down the line, there's another star. So if I open this Arcana pack, it'll skip the duplicate star and it'll offer me these instead. Um, I'm just going to pick up Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, when I first started rooting this seed, I found out that Wheel of Fortune number five gives me polychrome. And so I was uh, really excited about that and I was trying to get as many Wheel of Fortune as I could uh, in order to get that number five polychrome Wheel of Fortune. Uh, it turns out that there just aren't enough Wheel of Fortune on this seed or, you know, maybe there's just not enough money to dig deep enough to find it. And so this actually doesn't matter. Um, I don't have to take anything here. Uh, before we leave this Arcana pack, um, I want to do some rearrangement. So I want this queen in the ace spot and I want this jack in the two spot. And then just let me double check here that looks correct. And then we'll use the wheel. And then that should be it. All right, going into the next round, once again, we're looking for our face cards. So we've got some kings here. And then we were able to sort of manipulate and arrange. Uh, here is a full house, kings and jacks. Uh, we do want to play this pair and we'll get around to it. Um, what I want to do first is, you know, my banner here is giving me extra chips from my discards. So I want to use up my discards first. So we'll discard a bunch of threes, discard uh, a bunch of aces here. And then now we're able to draw, here's the pair that we can play. Um, so since I don't have any face cards, I might as well, I can move the to-do list and then pick up uh, plus eight bucks there. All right, next, three of a kind, if I want to get, you know, the extra money from my blueprint. Um, I don't have three of a kind. I'm trying to save my face cards. Here I could, you know, in theory, I could play the three of a kind queens, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the uh, full house. And I don't need this list anymore. We actually end up getting uh, more money this way. All right, going into the shop. Now what I want to do is, let's see here, we'll go uh, Celestial Pack. Again, it's a jumbo Celestial Pack. So we get a couple of skips, possibly. I don't remember if it actually happens, but you know, theoretically we could get some skips. Uh, either way, we're able to find another Pluto card. Uh, the next Spectral Pack. We're able to pick up another Ouija, and so we did uh, Ouija threes, and then aces, and then now sixes. Uh, I no longer care what I get from my Ouija, because I'm just going to take them all, and my hand size is going to shrink anyway, and I'm just going to play high card anyway. Alright, I will, you know, when I was first rooting this, like I said, uh, you know, I picked up, there's four wheels but you can't get five there's no fool cards either and so you know i tried to get as many wheels as i could and i just couldn't get there but that's okay we don't need it um, we're going to uh, re-roll here and now we're offered the dagger because we did you know the skips in the shop then i was able to turn this into a holographic dagger instead of a holographic something else um, i think Holographic runner was one of the options, uh, but I wanted a holographic dagger instead. So I can go ahead and pick that up. Um, and then to go with it, uh, we'll pick up the egg as well. So to make room 
Finally, we're going to get rid of the business card. Now we no longer have that pressure to play face cards. Now we can kind of just play whatever. Um, and let's make sure I'm going to put the dagger on the right for most of this um, just to you know build up our egg value and not lose any jokers here. All right, uh, going into the next round. Now it doesn't matter so much what we play. So I'm going to uh, discard my cards on the left. I'm gonna discard the high cards and then try to preserve to the best of my ability the low cards. Uh, so the reason for that is Okay, we saw in the shop that there's a telescope and the thing that I wanna do is get a bunch of Pluto cards. And so, okay, telescope is gonna help me with that. What I need is I need to play high card a lot of times. I need to play high card six times in order to get it uh, bigger than you know the five full houses that I played. Uh, which means I need to, in this round, play a high card that's not worth very many points. Um, so that I can play multiple copies of them. So like, you know, Banner is giving me chips when I have discards. So we have to discard first in order to reduce our score. And then now when I play the high card, you can see already just one high card is worth 2000 points. And so, you know, if I had the Banner, uh, the plus 60 chips, that would have been over 4000. And I wouldn't be able to do my telescope stuff. So uh, that's why, you know, we discard the higher cards on the left holding the uh, small cards on the right ish and then we should be able to play a uh, high card three times as long as we've got the blueprint you know on the left here copying nothing all right now we just completed the big blind so if i want the telescope this is the last opportunity to buy it so we'll go ahead and buy the telescope uh this celestial pack uh, contains a Pluto already um, but you know if I pick up the uh, telescope then you know it gives me this full house here and then also I have the Pluto card so we didn't lose anything we were still able to get a Pluto card even though our uh, most played hand is currently a full house uh, we'll save our money for future rounds All right, once again, we want to try to play as many high card as possible. So I'm gonna keep uh, my jokers arranged as they are. Let's play low high cards. You know, already 2,600 points. And then, you know, getting kind of lucky with the misprint giving us a low roll there. Uh, if we rolled higher on our misprint, we would go over on the score, but we were kind of lucky there. And then with that, now we've got our six high card. That's more than our five full house. So this celestial pack, no problem giving us uh, a Pluto card and, you know, Pluto cards from here on out. Uh, I will tell you, you know, now the rest of the run, uh, it doesn't really matter what cards we play. So, you know, I didn't really map out the rest of the run. I just mapped out the first three antes because that's all that you really need to do. And then now we've basically got it. So, uh, you know, if we want, we can rearrange our jokers like this. I'm going to keep the dagger on the right here so that it doesn't eat anything. Spectral pack again. Uh, I forgot what number we're on, but here's another Ouija. Gives us more aces. Sure, why not? Uh, we can save our money and go into the next round. And now I am trying to score so that I can, you know, win in fewer hands and, you know, get money from having hands left over. So we'll do this. And then you can see, you know, we're able to get 10,000 points with just one high card. Celestial pack again, another Pluto card. 
you know, now that I have the telescope, I don't have to worry as much about, you know, uh, manipulating what's going to be in the celestial pack. Spectral pack. Here we get an ectoplasm. Negative on the banner. Sure, why not? Uh, if we have a negative banner, then we can pick up this delayed gratification. And if we have delayed gratification, then we can take up this wasteful voucher. That'll give us, you know, not just extra money from the delayed gratification, but we'll also get um, extra chips from the banner. Sure, why not? And so going into this next round here, we'll just play uh, without discarding. Uh, we should actually do this. We low rolled on the misprint, so you know even if I had the dagger in the correct spot before playing the hand there, it was only going to be worth 9,000 points anyway. So we needed to play two hands anyway. Alright, Celestial Pack for Pluto. Uh, we don't really need any more Arcana Packs. You know, if we buy enough Arcana Packs, there is another wheel that comes up. But we're not able to get to wheel number five, unfortunately. We can't get the polychrome wheel. All right, going into the next round, we'll just save our money to buy, you know, future spectral packs. Here, let's try a king. 15,000 points. Spectral pack again. Ectoplasm again. You know, it's kind of unfortunate. Unfortunate that we got the Ouija's first in the run and the Ectoplasm's later in the run. Uh, we may, you know, might have gotten different Jokers, more interesting Jokers. All right, uh, you know, we can take this hone here just because we have the money. Uh, you know, we can even reroll here now that we've got uh, an extra Joker slot. What might we want? Uh, you know, maybe we could do this. We could take uh, the to-do list just to feed to the dagger. And, you know, we don't really need these planets anymore. All right, spectral pack again. Ouija again. Now we have hand size two. Coming from our juggler, if we sell the juggler, we will have hand size zero. Two high cards gave us, you know, just under 25,000 here. So we do need a little bit more in order to get the 50,000 to beat the final boss. Spectral pack, Ouija again. Now we have, this is the last spectral pack. Now we have hand size one. And the deck is, you know, random nonsense. All right, uh, I'm just gonna pick up a joker to feed to my dagger. Move it back over here. Doing the best we can to win in as few hands as possible. So depending on what we roll on our misprint, we might have enough to beat the final boss. Uh, like I said before, I didn't completely route this, you know, just the first three antes, but I think we can do it. Uh, Arcana pack, we don't need. Uh, let's see here, we can take overstock. Uh, I could make a glass card. That could be worth something. You know, if we look here, uh, 12 on our high card, that could be uh, a plus 12 molt. Um, I am going to use the dagger on the egg for 22 molt. So, you know, we should get there. We should be fine. Uh, we can look here. Uh, maybe if I have a lot of aces in my deck, I can do a scholar thing. Um, I can pick up uh, a judgment here if I want some random joker. 
I can do a half joker if we're just playing one card at a time. That's probably better than this scholar if I take a half joker. And then that'll be it. That's uh, as much as we can afford. All right, so we eat the egg. That gives us uh, plus 26 molt, plus 15 from the half joker. Um, I don't need this gratification anymore. We have hand size one. Okay, so now let's see here. Uh, if I do the... That's an abstract joker. All right, so let's run the numbers here. All of this added together with the banner. I have to make sure, uh, is this going to be 50,000? I don't think so. Okay, 40,000. Now we're good. Uh, so now if I sell the juggler, now I already have a card in hand. So, you know, I'm not gonna, it doesn't force me to discard it. I have negative, technically I have negative one hand size, even though I have this card in hand. Um, and, you know, just for fun here, I'll even make it a glass card. And there we go, we did it. No cards in hand, negative one hand size, we're still able to win. Uh, two days left, two days left of the, uh, this version of the demo. Try the seed out, you know, with the 10 spectral packs, uh, you know, see what you can get.